Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm late. Hi, how you doing? Yep, nice of you to finally uh, finally show up. Uh, whew, I have a ton of these today. Um, first and foremost, we just want to welcome you in and say how excited we are to interview you. We've seen your engine hub and you do phenomenal, phenomenal work. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm honestly really excited to work here. I think I'll be a great fit. We did have a question though. We didn't really see any community involvement. In my last job, we had the most popular auto shop in town. Does that not count? No, I'm not, I'm not quite following. Like, did you go to any mechanic meetups or host any mechanic meetups or perhaps like work on your neighbor's car in your free time? Um, nope, I didn't host any mechanic meet. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's, that's no big deal. We, we'll have to dock you for that, but um, I have faith that you can make up for it in this interview. Cause I mean, I've seen your engine hub. Like you, you got the stuff, you know, you got the stuff. Oh, I mean, I didn't know that you're gonna be judging me off my work outside of work, um, but some things I'm passionate about personally is like, I've been trying to pick up salsa. Ooh, sorry, yeah, uh, didn't mean to cut you off, but since we are running so late, we don't really have time for your life story, so we're just gonna hop right on into the practical interviews. Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that makes, that makes total sense. Perfect, let's get started. Who well, are we, are we gonna be doing the interview in the living room? Yeah, actually, right here. We like to do our interviews in the living room. Cause you know, you know what they say. I don't know what they say. If you can dodge a wrench. Dodge a wrench. No, that's not right. If you can code in a notepad. If you can fix a car in a living room, you can fix a car anywhere. Do they say that? They say that. Who is they? They say that. I got a, I got a weird que I got a weird question. You ask a lot of questions. I like that. If I get this job, will I be working and doing my work in a, a living room? <laughs> no. God, you're a silly goose. I like you. No, you're gonna be working in a garage if you get hired. But again, we don't have time for all of this, so let's hop right into it. You see that uh, sedan right there? Tell me how you would check the oil on that puppy. Check the oil. Yeah, yeah, too easy. I'll kind of just... And then do a little, little whoop. Put it back in and Bob's your uncle. That's pretty simple. That's how I would do it. You did that absolutely perfectly. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. But you didn't really talk me through that process. Like, why did you use your right hand instead of the left hand to pop the hood? Why did you swipe upwards instead of downward? Why the yellow rag? You see what I'm saying here? You didn't really explain your process. So we're gonna have to dock you for all of those points. What? Yeah, I know, I know. It's just the name of the game. It's unfortunate, but once again, I'm pretty confident you're gonna make up for yourself in this next portion. Okay, yeah, just, Talk through my process. I can, I can do that. I can do that. Um, I'll do that moving forward. All right, for the last question, which I know you're gonna crush, how would you go about changing the tire on that Nissan right there? Talking through my process, first I would look to see which tire. Hold on, one second, one second, one second. Um, try whiteboarding out your, uh, your idea process. Here you go. Nope, nope. I don't need a whiteboard. I'll just talk through it. Oh no, that, that wasn't a suggestion. Whiteboard out your process. Okay, I mean, if it's that important to you, I'll... I would just, um, I guess, loosen up the lug nuts, jack it up, pop okay. off the yeah, lug nuts completely, um, swap out the tire for a new tire, which we'll declare here. Perfect. Uh, tighten the lug nuts up on the new tire by hand. Yep. And then lower the vehicle uh -huh. down and then completely tighten the lug nuts. That's, that's basically it. Should I... Should I go do that? Honestly, phenomenal work. That was perfect. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're not gonna waste both of our times because obviously you know how to change the tire that way. But, could you do it recursively? What? 